Hi guys, so today I want to talk about um, La Llorona. I kind of want to review it because I want to go see the movie La Llorona and it was actually really, really good. I was very happy with the way they, they took it. Now, I'm not really familiar with the story. I, obviously, I'm, I'm Hispanic, I'm Mexican, um, and my family used to tell me the story and used to be like, oh, if you don't do this, she's going to come after you. If you don't go to bed at this time, she's going to come after you. If you don't eat your food, she's going to come after you. You know, obviously, the Mexican parents use... Use like Yorona to uh, to scare you into doing things that they want you to do, right? Um, but I kind of I kind of just just want to say I really liked how they made her look. I, I like how how they portrayed her. I I enjoyed all that. Like it was it was such a great movie. I I I highly recommend it. But what I want to talk about was uh, the fact that that um, they didn't use your typical priest to help this person and it made me really happy because a person from the esoteric world like me it it made me it made me happy to see that they they portrayed a person from a, the esoteric world sorry <laughs> stuttering um a person from the esoteric world uh the way they did i love how they said like it was a priest and and the priest was like oh i didn't give up on on god God is always with me and it's it's so true. It is so true because people think my family thinks that that I'm crazy like I've said in another video and it's and it is what it is. I don't I don't really care. I don't care what other people say because I know what I can do and I know what I who I can help and and I've helped a lot of people. Um and I continue to help people. And I will always continue to help people. I'm never going to give up on this stuff because it is who I am and it is what I'm supposed to do. It's my mission. If you don't know your your divine purpose, if you don't know your purpose, well, eventually you'll find out, but this is my divine purpose. Um, so, funny thing is, the priest that, that was an esoteric person from the esoteric world, um, his name was Raphael, and I thought it was funny because my name is Raphael as well. Uh, it, was, it was just a really crazy coincidence. It was, I was just like, oh. And it's so funny because everything he did, it, it was really interesting because everything he did it, it was pretty accurate. Like, I mean, they kind of tweaked it because, you know, it's a movie and everything, but it was pretty accurate. I'd, I'd say they did their they did their studying right. Yeah, there's like, there's ways to protect people from evil entities, evil things, evil, evil energies, negative energies. And this guy in that movie knew how to do it. Like, it was, it was really cool. But the thing that I want to talk about today is, is how he used eggs. Now... What blows my mind is that people don't know how how powerful everyday items are, how powerful anything is. Like glitter, for for example. Let me let me bring these to you. Glitter. Do you know how powerful this is? I'm pretty sure you, you don't. And if you and if you are into this stuff, I'm sure you you do. Um, glitter, glitter is something I use for all my works because they all represent something. It's all symbolic. It's all, it's all basically the power is in the symbolic meaning. And the power is in the energy it has. So gold glitter, prosperity. Green glitter, money. Red glitter, love, and power attack. Silver glitter. It's silver glitter, nice silver glitter. I use it for for works that that use uh, like winning winning a case or something like that, uh, like court cases and stuff like that. But, anyways, I was really happy with the movie because they 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 use the egg, and the reason I bring up like everyday items is because people don't know how how powerful an egg is. And let me let me just get that for you. Okay, so an egg, a simple egg, like an everyday chicken egg, you know, that you cook for breakfast or whatever you use it for. No one knows how powerful this little item is. Now, I, I know you've heard of people who, who use eggs to show if there's something evil and whatnot. I mean, I personally wouldn't, would not do that because I prefer to collect the evil in this egg and then burn it. 
Um, but it's, you know, everyone knows something different. Everyone knows a different way. Now, now stuff from the esoteric world, there isn't really a way to do it. It's just kind of your own way, the way that you've been, that you've been showed, the way that you're supposed to do it. it everybody does it different. Now there is like a typical way that, that most people do it, but that's not the way I do it. I do it very, very different and I would never crack the egg because if you don't know how to, how to, um, if you don't know how to manipulate energies, uh, the, the thing that you collected in here can reattach to the family and it basically, it's going to be more pissed and it's going to do more harm. But the reason I bring up an egg is because the guy from, from the esoteric world, the guy, the priest that, that helps out the the family that left the church um, to follow his spiritual path in a different way. He mentions how he didn't give up on God and that he always uses God. And that is very true because whenever I do my cleanses, I let's just say I do my cleanse and I, and I just do um, a prayer. Padre Nuestro que estás en el cielo, santificado sea tu nombre. Or like, um, I just pray whatever comes to mind because everybody needs a different type of prayer. It's basically what you feel. When it, it when you, when you feel it, you know, right? So this guy, this guy used an egg and he was rubbing it on stuff. And I know it, it sounds kind of funny that, and it looks kind of funny that he was he's rubbing eggs on people and he was rubbing he rubs eggs on the house. It's not just in the movie. This is actually so powerful on removing evil entities, um, spells, bindings. Um, demons from your energy just cleansing your aura for for stress pain this can cleanse anything from pain sickness stress emotional problems this is so powerful and the world does not know this is so powerful and no one no one seems to to know unless you're you're a spiritual person unless you're a spiritual being like me um but i will say though that he he definitely took a different route than what I would have. Now what he did, I would have done it different because what I would have done in that situation, I would have protected the family in a different way. He he put up candles and all, but he it was just to to, to light up the house. Now, the what I would have done, I would have put a candle a protection in the candle form inside the house where nothing evil can stand inside and if it does come in cuz it has power, it's not going to stay very long because it can't stay because the protection is very powerful. Plus, I would have reinforced everything. I would have protected. I would have protected the house from it trying to manifest through. I would have protected the mirrors because mirrors they can manifest through the mirrors once the, there's a protection. So it's kind of like a way they bypass. I would protect the people by putting a, a light around them. You kind of have to know how to man manipulate these energies in order to do this stuff. But it's it's not hard if you're gifted, um, and anybody can learn. But it, I like I said, it's it's like singing. You can you can learn to sing, but you never you, if you weren't born with it, it's not the same thing. Um, but yeah, I would have protected the family. I would have I would have removed the power that thing had over them before. I just went in and said, "Boom, we gotta attack it now." No, I I don't I didn't agree with that part of the movie. I I would have I would have removed the power it had first, and then I would have been like, "Boom, you're out." And I would have, the family would have been so much better. No one would have gotten hurt. This thing wouldn't have been ever manifest. It, it would have been a different story. But overall, it was a really good movie, and I do recommend it for you guys. Now, if you guys are interested in in this type of stuff, I am, I'm thinking about maybe um, explaining to you how to do things, how to do certain things, what to do for protections, what to do for, for um, your safety, how to bring prosperity to yourself what the what crystals means what what every crystal means what what it brings to you what kind of energy it carries what how can you remove negative energies um and just things like that so if you if you would like to to stay tuned you could subscribe you can follow my my youtube channel because it's barely growing it's I, i'm new to this i'm 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 still growing but i am gonna get better i'm gonna get better quality i'm gonna get everything i just everything is in due time same thing with the spiritual stuff. You can't just want every gift right away. Your gifts have to come to you. Your gifts have to open up. And that's kind of how it is with, with YouTube. Um, you kind of just have to let it do what it has to do. And I know I'm in the right place and I know I'm in the right time. So 
I'm just gonna, I just have to be patient. And I hope you continue watching. I hope you enjoy these videos because they're gonna get better and they're gonna, they're gonna keep growing. So until next time, see you guys.